Hello everybody, this is Bullock, and yeah, I am just breaking all these chests because I've already put as much cobble as I can into the storage room, and I don't think I'm ever going to need all this cobble and stone again because I have finished the basement part, and I'm going to show you everything now, because I've been working on this for a long time and I haven't really had an episode in a while. Get rid of that too. I used up of the cobble, uh, like I use it loads, but at the same time I was gaining so much, so um, <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't want to look up, I don't want to show you too fast, and keep the suspense going, so I'm still not 100% sure that I really like it, but um, I know from there I'm going to really want the cobble back, but I got loads more cobble at my other house as well, so I don't think I'll really be sitting for a long time. Um, Okay, so, yeah, I'm not going to be able to pick all that up, and then we got more of it. Beside each other and how to do it, kind of. Um, so these will be kind of like the center part of the house, and they'll go the whole way up. Symmetrically, kind of always in the middle, up to the very top, about the roof of the house. Um, it's a nice way to always be able to tell where our house is as well. And yeah, they go all the way up through this kind of thing. I do like this. This. Wait, let me look at it from here. It curves around like that, and then yeah, and I like the detail on it. Then above that we have just normal glass walkway which we're gonna, we're gonna change eventually. And, and we'll, we will be changing these walls. I, I like the lava falling down I think. Um, but just the flat parts, these four there and behind me will be changing them I think. Now getting up is pretty difficult. Don't get many pearls and pearls left and it's very easy to go into the lava. So first we go like Alright, and then we're on this platform, and then we just have to get over here, yeah, I'll show you what this lava here is for, and the water below, oh, damn it, oh that was close, alright, lucky I have my feather falling on, um, alright, let's do that again, alright, so we can go up here, I'm gonna go to Emma Lava, what the hell, oh god, okay, this is pretty dangerous, I'm, Decided, I've decided on the way down, more or less. Oh no, I only had one. Damn. Yeah, I've decided on a way down, but I haven't decided on the way up. So, I'll have to choose one soon. For now, we'll just block up. Okay. Oh no. Where are we? And through these little purple things. So, above is still all the same, haven't done much here. Uh, I will have to change this glass thing because it's not the nicest. It's okay, but it's not that great. But yeah, we'll have to change this wall, it's just not very nice. Um, I don't mind the corner bits. So yeah, to get down, we jump to these four purple holes, and you go through the lava. Uh, so we'll just through the lava and into the water, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and you don't really take that much from the lava. Now onto the storage room, which I did a lot of work on. Oh, and I'd like to say thanks to Nix Nix Riar, I think if I said it right, who um who said to me that it would be cool instead of the ladders down here. Yeah, uh, most people said the wood looked better. Uh, but it's kinda a little late because by the time I'd upload that video I'd prob I'd finish the uh, stone, so 
yeah. Um, but thanks for your comments. Um, and maybe we will eventually change the wood. But I would be a little worried because this house is so much lava everywhere. I don't think I'll be using any wood in it. Um, one thing I really like is, and I'll tell you about next VR in a minute. But that when you're going through here, it's all kind of red in there, and then it changes because it's so far away and there's so much lava. Um, same, it's kind of dark once you get in. But yeah, so we go down here, and then we have a anvil right there in a little kind of room thingy, and then we have an ender chest up here that we have to jump to go to. So let me do that again. I missed. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's that. We have two enchanting tables there, and then the room itself. I uh, still have to finish the roof obviously, but um, yeah, Nick Shriar said that uh, putting putting these would be a very good idea with the frames, and then we could have, like, say, wheat there in the chest. And, there, yeah. and I hadn't even thought about it. Uh, it, looks, it looks a little bit ugly compared to the ladders, which I really like, but it would make everything so much easier, so I think I will uh, swap all the ladders to frames. Um, so yeah, that's basically that. But now, one thing I still have to do is fix the nether, because that time our map got, whatever, broken. Um, which I'm meaning to say, uh, a lot of people have been asking for a, me to upload it. Um, which actually takes so long because the map is a big, uh, big map. But yeah, I'm going to have a link in the description this episode where you can download the map and yeah we still fix the nether so we can get back to our old house fast because uh, there's a lot of stuff there I want to bring over to this house and then we're gonna get started on the above ground part of our house oh god the amount of hopefully that cobble despawned it didn't look back there but yeah I'm gonna also have to um, get a lot more pumpkins for lighting up the island Damn it. Uh, they grow so fast once after the original they grow, they grow very fast um, anyway let's go up here I'll do that off camera it's kind of boring for you guys um, so not much apart from that I did just look at my channel a minute ago and I had 4,000 subs I was hoping to get a screenshot of it exactly on 4,000 but um, I just missed it it's on 4,002 but uh, anyway, I, ha I have a screenshot of 1,000 subs, 2,000, and 3,000, I think. So I was going to eventually have a kind of time-lapse picture thing, uh, which I'm still working on. <laughs> uh, just got to wait for the subs, you know. But um, thanks to all my subscribers, and I've decided that all the money I make off YouTube will be going back into YouTube. Um, except not on this channel. Like, a lot of it will be going into this channel, but, um, there's always, it's hard to spend that much on a gaming channel, kind of. <laughs> so, uh, see, I have no real need for the money that much, so, yeah, that's why I'm kind of putting it back into YouTube. Oh, I moved in the air, damn it. Um, where's that cobble for some, I don't want to fall down there. Yeah. So, I'm going to be buying a pretty expensive camera uh, that's very, very good quality and starting a new chan channel with uh, Mutant Potato 55 which will have kind of real life videos uh, which will all be comedy, hopefully, I think. So, um, I will have a link to that channel in the description and I mightn't put it up until we have a video up actually um, otherwise it might be kind of boring for some people so yeah I'll wait till we have a video up instead yeah so it's all very nice all very nice I really like this so yeah um, not too sure what we'll do today but I'd like to make some kind of mechanism or something also apparently these mob spawners are useless now yay um, useless for XP but we can use them for zombie flesh which is pretty useless um, we can have loads on me, I have loads on me anyway but um yeah so what to do what to do what to do let's jump down here one more time just to make sure these do work and I, I want to be able to use them fast like that you know yeah they work okay 
So I'll be back in a minute, guys, with something to do. Actually, guys, I have thought of something really small now. Like, I mean, very small and useless. But, um, I know a lot of people make these Minecraft cinematic things. And, um, if you do want, like, fiery lava, you can just shoot arrows into it. And as long as they're lodged in the ground, they create these little fire effects. Then if you're in, you know, your F1 mode, you can have fiery lava in your video. So, it's not very useful, especially for a normal playing, but, um, and they do last for as long as the arrow's there. But, yeah, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> pretty impressive, eh? Uh, I didn't do some while ago over here, now they're gone. So they don't last forever, but they last a good while. Um, yeah, gotta think of something a little better than that, though. Alright, guys, so in the last house we were about to make a generator room, but, um, I don't know, we never got around to it, and then eventually we moved house, so I think I'd like to build it here. Now, this is the farm's uh, area, so we got our pumpkin farm here. Then over there, I want to probably have some other kind of farm, uh, maybe a squid farm somewhere further this way. And then I could have a generator, well maybe that'll come under farms. It is farming materials, but mm, I think we'll, we'll build it like here. So I'm gonna get started on getting through and building a room. And once I have a nice little room set up, we can uh, come back to you, you guys. So I'll see you soon.
Yeah. 